Introduction Babylon Babylon want me now <laughs> Celestia, they're not rich Ow. Hi guys, welcome back to Biami And thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video So I'm going to carry on with the whole adulting theme I put recently on my Instagram what you guys wanted to know Whether it was um, managing your bills or building up on your credit score And the majority was building up on your credit score So that's what I'm going to talk about today And I'm going to be using an app called ClearScore Which is what I currently use to check my credit score Check my credit um, report, report And just you know see where I'm at And where I was kind of like managing all of my credit I'm going to just really keep it nice and simple So I'm going to just talk to you about uh, how I build my credit score, how I manage my credit score and why it's important to actually start building credit. Just before I get into the video guys, please, please, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, comment below, like, share, all of that good stuff and help me build my channel. Okay, so let's get into the video. So I'm going to just quickly show you what the app looks like, which is what I'm using at the moment. Um, so this is my clear score app i'm gonna click on that and then i am going to log in my finger is recognized this is what i love about the apps you just need your finger so as you guys can see my credit score is looking bright which is where i want it to be um, okay so before i go into this app like this app is really really good by the way it's not sponsored it's just an app that i use i used to use um equifax i think it's equifax if it's not i put the right one and i stopped using them i couldn't for the life of me remember why i stopped using them but i literally remember being on the phone to them for ages and just being like just take me off your system i don't want to abuse you anymore and so and so and so and then i saw this used to run on an ad on tv and i was like oh that looks pretty easy um so i went with them and yeah i'm quite happy with right, the app so let's backtrack a little bit so i used to be quite uneducated when it came to like credit and why it's important to have credit and what credit is all about um until i moved out and was living alone and then i tried to get credit i think it was um oh my god what's that shop Ugh, the electric shop i can't remember i put the name of it um so i tried to get credit there you know i was like trying to get like furniture well not really like furniture but household goods um, and I was trying to get some credit and I think and I got declined that wasn't the first time I got that, that I tried to get credit I think the first time was for a car um, and I got declined but basically I didn't have no credit and no credit is bad credit as we know so I didn't have no credit um, I never had a credit card I never had a high purchase I never um, the only thing that I had was my phone contract um, and anything that I purchased I always bought it cash like I never really thought you know saw the importance um, of credit um until i moved out and then i tried to get some credit and i couldn't so i was like oh okay and then obviously as you guys saw in my last videos i'm obviously at the age now where i'm thinking about you know my future buying a home and all of that stuff and as you guys know you need credit so everything in this country i'm realizing is all about credit guys you know it's about your credit score and your credit report and what's on there and everything that's on there is gonna either impact you in a good way or in a bad way the first thing that i did to build up my credit guys was to get a credit card <sighs> Okay, this was something that I used to literally run away from. Like, I mean, I'm not a shopaholic, but let's just say, you know, I like to, my fingers like to do a little bit of clicking and adding on to baskets every now and then online, right? So I was like, a credit card? Like, you got to be kidding me, right? Like, I would literally rinse out that card. Like, I literally used to be so scared of getting a credit card, guys. Like, I thought that I was going to run myself into debt. Um, so I avoided it for years and years and years and years and years. Um, 
but until I realised that, you know, speaking to people, speaking to my sister and, you know, just like getting the understanding of it and boy, it took me, I'm not even going to lie, it took me a minute to actually understand how credit card works. You know, like, I just didn't understand the way credit card worked. Like, I was like, but it's my money. Like, why do I have to pay my money back? Like, I was literally going back and forth, back and forth. My sister was trying to explain it to me and I was just like not getting it. And yeah, anyway, I got it eventually like in the end um so that's the first thing that i did to build up my credit and the thing about building up your credit or the thing about like getting a credit card guys is you have to not be afraid of money or you have to like not be afraid of like the economy like do you know what i mean like you have to understand that you are the one that is managing it like you're the one that is in charge of it and it's not in charge of you like do you know what i mean so if you have this card you are in charge of this card like this card would not control you like you have to grasp that in your head so i got that and i got accepted and i was just like Ooh! you know and i had my credit card and the lady at the bank explained it to me she explained how it works and all of that good stuff and i was like okay cool like we're getting somewhere um and there's a and also like i would also say like if you're going to build up your credit right or you're going to get all of these things like you need to have a purpose as to why you're doing these things like don't just like get a credit card just because you want to like spend money or just because you want to have all of these good things like you need to have a purpose and a plan as to why you're getting all, all of these things the system works through credit so for me to have certain things i need to build on my credit um so that's my goal and i can't mess that up do you know what i mean so i have to be on top of everything and i'm gonna like get tell you the things that i did how that impacted my credit score and then um then we'll wrap up the video so i got that and then the second thing that i did was to get a store card um, so i got an Argo store card with the store card guys you have to be like so careful like the store card that i got argos i don't really shop in argos that much but i got it during christmas time while i bought like a specific present and what else did i bought buy from argos oh and i got my camera from argos as well that i'm using because i wanted to like upgrade um now when it comes to like store cards like you need to be so careful and guys you need to make sure that you're paying things on time like literally and get things that you know that you are going to be able to like manage and also you need to like understand um like the interest and things like that now the they when i got the store cards and when i got the items that i got on argos i knew that i had like the, the one of the items that I got, I had like a year to pay back for it. And then the other one, I think it was like six months to pay back for it. Um, and then obviously what I really liked about our God store card is that you have, I don't know what it's like with other ones, but you can manage everything through the apps. I think most things have apps now and you can manage everything through the apps, you make payment through the apps and it makes it so easy because you, you need to be able to like keep on top of it. Things that affect your credit that i did not know is your location and um, whether you are on the electoral so um, i'm gonna show you let me just put her down i'm gonna just quickly go into the app and show you why i really really love this app so um i'm just gonna go into my report so when you go on to the report it literally shows you like what your area like the area what the average is what the average credit score is in your area and then it tells you what your your um, report is and then what it is like in the uk um so this is the part that i want to show you so in here it's like insights so it shows you like whether you're on track 
um whether like you're not on track but as you guys can see like i'm on track with all of these things so you would have things like um default or repossessions electoral rolls so these are all the things that impact your credit score hard searches missed payments open accounts um and public information let's have a look for example my credit utilization so when you go through your credit utilizations like it will literally tell you what's impacted your credit so it could be that you are spending too much on your credit card now what they want you to do is not to use all of your money all of your credit at once so for example like if i look at my credit utilization so staying in within your credit limit below 50 percent, so using half of that is good for your credit because then it shows that you're not dependent on your credit basically that you can you know like you're not like just living off your credit because obviously that's not showing good money management like being on the electoral roll improves your credit score so like that's another good thing to do like check whether you are the, on the electoral roll because if you're not that will improve your credit score so if you move house make sure you register to vote at the address that you are living at because that's going to improve your credit another thing that i like about um this app is that it tells you what your kind of payment history is like so it even tells you like the black the red and the white so if you've got any missed payments it will kind of like show you so you can have a and it's really really like straightforward like you can see exactly what's going on you can like view your accounts you can see where your account is at like it's really really <laughs> straightforward yeah so that's the app that i use clear score and i really really like it basically it just tells me everything simplified what i need to know where i am what my average is in my area what the average is in the uk and where i'm averaging and you can get your report on there and your report is basically made out of your credit score and it's made out of every credit that you have um how you are doing and they just measure that up um compared to the average so um and it just breaks it down it tells you why you why your credit score is low so if i was to like go back to like a cup a few months it would tell it would tell and if there's any significant changes um it would tell me why my credit score has gone down or why my credit my credit score has gone up like which is really good you know whether i've had like any like debt added to that or credit added to that or anything like that um and yeah like it's it's really really good guys like i've literally come to understand that being um you know having credit is it's a good thing and money you control money money does not control you and when you start understanding that you are the boss of money like money works for you you don't work for money like do you know what i'm saying like you work to get your money but you have to get to a mental state where you understand that money you're not a slave to money do you know what i'm saying like you need to get to a point where your money is going to start working for you and it first starts in your mind and not being afraid of it like if you've got any future plans don't be afraid of like getting credit because literally the system works by credit does that make sense like don't be afraid to get credit um and also don't be afraid to um don't be afraid to don't be afraid of money like do you got know I me mean? like i have <coughs> several conversations like this with my friends and i have some friends that like they're scared of getting a credit card or like they're scared of getting this kind of credit or they don't understand it and it's about educating yourself you don't have to be a maths genius to know how it works because it's your money you know how you how much you get paid you know what you can afford that's another thing as well like you know what you can afford so don't bother trying to live outside of your means always leave within your means or sometimes even under do you get what, I mean? do you get what i'm saying like sometimes and i've said this in my previous videos i'll put a link of other financial videos that i've made um you know once i have 
paid everything that else I need to pay I will give myself an allowance and sometimes that allowance might seem smaller than what I need but what I actually need I've already covered for which is my essentials like my bills and all of that stuff so what I give myself might seem like less but the important thing is that my bills are covered and also I've got savings that are covered do you know what I'm saying so what do I need money for? I just need money to socialise. Now, having a social life, that's basically, it depends on what kind of social life you want to have. And if you have a goal in mind, you're going to prioritise your investments. Does that make sense? Like, you're not going to invest on socialising. If you've got a goal, you're going to invest in your goal. Like, your goal might be to buy a house, or your goal might be to buy a nice car, or your goal might be to buy land, or, you know, a holiday, or whatever, whatever. So your investment is going to go on that, rather than socialising. So socialising doesn't really become, like, a priority anymore. So, um, get yourself a goal, and understand your investment and and also understand your priority like once you've got your priority in place then all of these things are going to be like less to worry about you're not going to be worried about oh my gosh can i handle can i handle this because you know you don't want to mess that up you don't want to mess up getting achieving your goals like if you've got a goal to save a certain amount of money at a certain time you're not going to mess it up you're not going to swipe 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 your credit card here there and everywhere because you're going to be like nah i need to be smart about how i manage my money and that's what it's about and that's what helps you to actually get that understanding do you, do you, want, do you know what i mean like that's what actually helps you to start the ball rolling you know because you're not if you don't have a goal then i beg i beg i beg like don't even go down that route because you're gonna actually spend recklessly like you're gonna get that credit card and you're gonna be like what like the first time yeah when i got my store card and i went to buy a present and i literally i picked up the item she did something on her system and then that was it and i just gave her my store card and leaving the shop guys like i'm not even gonna lie it was so weird like it was like the weirdest thing ever because i was like oh my god is that it like and i literally like in my head yeah i was like oh my god i'm walking out of the shop with this item but like it was so weird like it was the weirdest feeling ever so i can understand like how people like just get themselves in debt because you're leaving with this item and thinking that you've just been given something for free but no 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 honey because you now oh like something like you've literally got yourself in debt but not all debt is bad debt there is good debt so there's good debt and there's bad debt so don't look at the word because debt the word debt is like tabooed so um don't look at the word debt like oh my gosh oh my gosh like there is good and there is bad debt if i know that you know this is not a priority what i would normally do is I would just leave certain cards at home I'm like you ain't coming out with me today you know and it's about getting the control getting control of your finances like and I just wish I wish I wish like it was something that was taught in like school or like taught in when I was like younger like because imagine if you start saving from like when you're like young or imagine if you start managing your your debt you know or like your credit from when you're like young like it really wouldn't be an issue today in our society because today in our society the debt rise like it's ridiculous um how many people and young people are in debt um it's literally ridiculous um and it's just about education like i think if we educate ourselves about debt and if we educate ourselves about credit and how it works i don't think we would have as big a bigger issue as we do now it's such a big topic and i don't want to make it so complex because a lot of the information you can find online but just a quick recap so what i did to obviously build my credit is i got credit <laughs> 
I got credit because you need credit to build credit. I got credit and guys you can get credit in so many different ways. You don't have to buy get a credit card. Um, but yeah, you can get credit in so many different ways. And obviously I got myself on the electro roll. I made sure that I was on there, made sure that my details were correct. Um, and these are the things that you need to really go through. Make sure that your make sure that your details are correct. Um, make sure that you are the on the electoral make sure that you don't have any IVAs or any bankruptcies or any unpaid debt anything like that because that will bring your credit down um, and you know and yeah make sure that you're paying things on time and make sure that you're living within or below 50% of your credit limit so yeah, so these are all of the things that I personally did and my credit is building and it's looking bright. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what you want it to be. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know what specifically you want to see, but if you like this video, please do give me a... Can we do a thumbs up, baby? Give me a thumbs up! Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you've got any... Um, thing interesting to say to share to educate us on please leave it in the comment below and yeah I see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and thanks guys bye